Alright, and hey there Proxies, and this is Proxmy here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario Color Splash Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, we actually went and headed on over here to the Red Paper, uh, Red Pepper Crater, and uh, we actually went and taken care of the big fire bubble that was actually happening within our time during the last episode, and uh, I do have to say, that was actually somewhat of a pretty challenging fight, uh, both here uh, with the Red Pepper, uh, with the Red Pepper Crater, and also with the Red Pepper Volcano, both of these two areas uh, within themselves, uh, you actually have to conserve on your actual blue paint. And if you are not uh, able to actually conserve on your blue paint, um, then you will actually have a little bit of troubles and having a little bit of difficulty with the big fire bubble. Well, at least if you actually do have uh, the one up mush. But again, uh, using up those one up, mush uh, those, uh, one -up mushrooms are actually somewhat uh, pretty hard to actually come by. And not only that, but they actually do cost around like 300 coins just for like literally one card of them. Uh, so you have to be at least a little bit careful when you actually do come across within this area uh, for the time being. Um, but if you guys did recall, uh, we actually did go and uh, get ourselves a little bit of a save point during the last time uh, because I, I know that uh, we actually went and taking care of everything that was going on uh, within our time here and we did actually go and pick up uh, with ourselves with the mini paint star yet but in this episode we are going to go and grab ourselves up with the mini paint star i actually did figure out exactly on uh, where this mini paint star is actually be located it's actually uh, located uh, within the actual hot spring within our time we did actually get to see uh, everything that was actually like behind within the hot spring because there was a waterfall that was actually uh, around there but we didn't really actually uh, go and actually check that out yet, but for right now, we're going to go and do that right here, right now. So let's go and jump right on into this, and let's go and continue onwards, shall we? So I think we actually do have to worry a little bit about with some of those bombs there, because like that was just literally around where that save point was actually going to be at. So we have to be a little bit careful uh, with our time here, but again, we can just use the cutout uh, material, so it really shouldn't be all that too difficult anyway. So again, to like literally go and do this, you just kind of have to go and set that up uh, perfectly, right when at the exact same time with the uh, with that lava kind of happens. And then just like so, we'll be able to go and climb all the way back up to where we are at. Now again, I believe the little mini uh, mini games thing is actually opened up once it, once again. Um, so we can actually be able to go and do that if you want to, because again, you do actually have I think like two tries to actually go and try that out. Um, but anyways, I don't think I'm all that too worried about actually having to go and do that right now. Ah, fire bro. <laughs> Whew, that was a little bit scary. Okay, so let's go and do this again here. So head right into where this little uh, where this little cave in is going to be, where the actual spring is going to be at. And we already went into this from before, so we already got ourselves all fully healed up. But if you guys recall, we never really got to go and check inside here just yet. So we're going to go and do that right here, right now. Head right inside this little hidden area for the time being, and you can actually go and talk to some of the uh, uh, some of the other snippets and some of the other uh, different other uh, characters that are going to be in here. So I'm not even a snippet anymore, man. I'm converted to a soaket. What a soaket? Yeah, me too. Bowser works us too hard. Well, yeah, I guess you guys do really kind of like take like the like, like the most of the uh, of the uh, of the ordering around, I guess, uh, from Bowser. Uh, but let's see what the heck are these shy guys doing here? Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it is, but I'm going to go ahead and take that mini paint star from you, though. Oh, but what the heck? Who's this? What is this around in here? Um, this doesn't really seem like too friendly of a guy. Oh, why? I never... Oh, what? Uh, oh, it was a boo. What the heck? What's he doing in here? Uh, this, is, this is a ghostly only spa. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, go enjoy your spa, I guess. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and uh, literally... Uh, take care of the mini paint star there so i guess that's what was going on um i guess uh, from what those shy guys were doing i guess they were kind of looking at the uh, at the uh, at the weird oddity that was going on within the actual spa why that there was a uh, a boo in the whole entire first place but whoa what the heck okay so this is an area that actually leads us all the way back here uh, back over to where one of the original areas that we went to when we were actually going and falling on over to where Larry was actually going to be at. Uh, so we actually got ourselves, that leads us all the way back to the tow train works, huh? Okay. So apparently there is actually one more paint star that is going to be here within the red pepper crater. So just give me one quick second, guys, and uh, I will actually cut this part out and we'll actually go and see where this other mini paint star is going to be at so that we can actually go and continue onwards with our direction because it seems like for right now, uh, we're kind of stuck at the moment because we don't really have anything uh, for the second paint star either here for this one or uh, or within this area as well too. But 
Um, I, I guess we could probably, uh, so Lair has arrived right over at Port Princess. We could probably go and check that as well. It seems like we got a little bit of a notification thing, but again, uh, I'll be back in one quick second and I'll try to figure out where we need to go for these other, uh, pay stars that are going to be happening. Okay, guys, so I am back. Uh, so I just actually went and figured out that there is another area that we can get ourselves another pay star from here. So if you guys recall, there was a thing in the background that I did actually recall seeing during our time when we were actually coming across here within the red pepper crater for the first time and i thought that there was something a little bit suspicious about this area but this is where we could actually get ourselves the second pay star for this place and if we actually do go and talk to the sniff in here whoa we actually found this place respect yeah that's what i was gonna say respect to that as well too so we actually did get ourselves a purple type of paint star and i don't know exactly where this is going to take us but we'll just have to go and check that out hey we got ourselves a little bit of an extra rochambeau there as well too which that's always uh, pretty nice to actually go out and uh, find something like that. Uh, but again, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to go and try out a Rochambeau at some point. But whoa, that takes us all the way on over back to where the Vortex Island is going to be? Jeez. Well, that was a very big one, I do have to say. A, a very big uh, type of route to actually go all the way back over to Vortex Island a lot faster. But hey, there's actually a little bit of a uh, suspicious area going on in, in that area. But we can't really go ahead and over to that place just yet. Uh, but there is one more other thing here that is at the Red Pepper Volcano, but I'll probably have to go and check that out maybe off recording uh, until next time. But there is something that we can't actually go out and do right now, and that is actually heading on over to the Tangerino Grill. Now, if you guys recall, there was something that we actually have to go and do here, right? Uh, there was a big, huge block of ice, remember? And uh, I think that was where the magnifying glass was going to be at. And I think we can actually use that hair dryer to actually then go and uh, basically uh, kind of melt away with the ice that was going on. And then we should be able to then go and pick up with the magnifying glass, which then I don't know exactly on what else is going to happen from there but uh but we'll have to go and try and see exactly on what has to happen now i may probably do another cut to figure out exactly on where we have to go and use the uh, magnifying glass for but if we actually do go and open up with this guy you guys can see that there is something over here and we can actually go and do this and i want to say that it is for the hair dryer but we can go and uh, use that for so let's go and cut that down to size and let's see if I am going to be right or not. Uh, but it should be the exact way. So we're going to go and paint this guy up. And it should be it. Because that is how we're going to be able to melt this. Eh. Alright, and here we go. It's hair dryer time. Let's go and uh, melt that ice away, shall we? It has been a while since I haven't... Uh, well, since we haven't really uh, went and uh, done this for quite a while. To grab ourselves an extra new thing for, for the time being. But oh, now I can use the freezer. Uh, there you go. Eh. Hey, I want to go and say the final piece of Mamma Mia pizza that I have to go and have a late night snack on. Interesting. So now that man's going to be able to go with uh, So Mario, so we're in your debt and prepare the VIP meal too. So I'd like you to go and thank you once again. So as a sign of our appreciation, please squeeze that strange object as much as you like. All right, so now we can go and uh, see what the heck this magnifying glass is going to be all about. But apparently there's supposed to be a, another VIP. Oh man, that's going to be pretty annoying, if I do have to say. If we have to go and make another one of those type of mistakes, that's going to be a little bit of a, of a, uh, of a uh, kind of dangerous situation again. But things, uh, make things appear larger than they are. And they can also fry ants and also various creatures. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess that is also going to be pretty nice as well. Uh, now, should we go and open this up? There's the final Mamma Mia pizza. Should we go and eat this? <laughs> no, I'm not going to go and do that. <laughs> I'm not going to go and worry about eating up with that guy's last pizza. I know that he wants to leave it and, and save it for uh, for a rainy day or something. But I think for right now, I think we're just going to be able to just hop on out of here. And I will be back in one quick second. And we'll try and figure out exactly on where we actually have to go right from, uh, from this point onwards. And see where we have to go and use this magnifying glass. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Or I may probably actually go and search for uh, the red pepper... Uh, volcano and search for that second uh pay star as well but we'll see what happens so just give me one quick second here all right guys so i am back so i think i actually went and figured out on where we need to go for the second pay star for the hour time within the red pepper volcano so we actually do need to go and head back on over back to where uh fort cobalt's going to be and we actually have to go re-pick up on another magma burger and we'll actually go and do that here within this episode um uh, but for right now i'm having a little bit of some difficulty on trying to figure out where we need to go and continue from uh but i guess we'll hold that that off until the next episode and then i'll let you guys know about what's happening
happening uh, from there. But uh, I, I know that we may probably have to use that magnify glass for something. It's just that I don't think we have anything really able to go and do anything right now at this point in time. So we'll have to go and check that back a little bit later. Uh, but for right now, let's go return back over to the volcano section. Oh, so we'll actually hold on. Right. We actually have to go and uh, return back on over to Fort Cobol first. So yeah, because since we already just went and used out the Magma Burger, you actually have to go and buy out another one. Unfortunately, that is just how that has to happen. Um, but yeah, because like once you actually do go and give the Magma Burger on over uh, to the uh, to, to the Dragodon, you won't be able to go and use it once again. So it kind of sucks that unfortunately that has to like literally happen. But again, it really shouldn't take us all that too long. Uh, to literally get to where we need to be and also to not only that uh but we don't even have to even worry about getting the basin anymore um but again i did let you guys know that the easiest way to get the basin is that just by painting up alongside with all the different gates that happen so if you ever do want to actually do go and uh pick up the basin a lot faster you just go and just use your uh paint hammer and just kind of just paint alongside with all the gates because again it does have a random rng type of thing that is like really annoying but we will actually go and use our cash for at least for something, right? I know that we have like so much cash right now in our inventory that we can literally go and do whatever we need to go and do right now at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, look what happened to this guy. He's still like completely burnt to the crisp after that shy guy literally ate that magma burger. <laughs> I kind of like how, like, like even when, when we do come back, it's like they still, it's still like kind of like following through like everything that's going on right now with the, like the actual story. That's pretty nice. All right, so let's go and buy out that 200 coins for that magma burger, and I believe we will actually get ourselves the fishing rod back once again as well too. I think, uh, but I, I don't think uh, no, but, but I think it's just only just the magma burger itself. But yeah, we'll buy out another Magma Burger. We'll head back to the Dragon Dawn, go and talk on over to him, see how that is going on. And then uh, we should be able to then go and do our thing here. I think, if I recall, that the Dragon Dawn is still going to be like already like unconscious as it is. So I don't think uh, he's ever going to get like fully unconscious and start like wrecking havoc again. Which I hopefully hope that's not going to be a problem. But um, we'll just have to see what happens from here. But I'm pretty sure he's still going to be knocked out and we still have to go and give him a, a burger. Uh, for him anyways for his troubles but let's go ahead and head back over here and let's go and talk back over to mr dragodon and see how he's doing uh so let's go and fish and let's go and put our burger down on the ground and let's see where this guy's at hey buddy <laughs> so yeah so apparently where this uh other pay star is going to be is actually not, not all that too far away from here so he's right in front of us oh okay well let's go and uh get off from here and we'll just have to go in now and just uh, grab ourselves up with the next thing. Ah, uh, yes, and also too, not only that, but let's go and uh, give him another one of these burgers here. So yes, let's go and of course do that. And he did uh, his good job for today. So drink it out. Thank you for your ride. So please enjoy your tasty burger. We love you. Bye. Uh, and please don't eat us. Uh, hopefully uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna have that uh, sore on his head anymore, or else he will go absolutely crazy. Uh, so right, so let's go and try throwing it again. So what's going on here? What are you trying to do, man? Oh, I said uh, uh, in front of us, in front of us, like like right in front of us. Uh, I don't think that I think that guy's having a little bit of some problems there. I wonder if I could actually go and battle out with this dude. Let's see if I can. How's it going, man? <laughs> nice try. So right in front of us, man. I I I, I don't think that dude's ever gonna have uh, or, or is not gonna be a part of uh, Mario Sluggers at some point, anyways. <laughs> just because of how horrible his pitching is. Well, I think even in Mario Sluggers, if I'm not mistaken, or, or uh, Mario uh, Super Slugger, or, or, well, yeah, what's it called? Mario Superstar Baseball in Mario Sluggers. I don't think Hammer Bros. is really all that too great of a uh, of a character in that game anyways. I, I think Hammer Bros. are only good only for one thing, and that's literally for batting. And, uh, oh yeah, and also too, uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below, guys, uh, if you ever do want me to do a mini-series of uh, Mario Superstar Baseball, because I do not mind actually doing that at all, uh, because that would be really fun to actually go out and do at some point. But yeah, so now we can finally be able to now go across uh, within that Rochambeau now, uh, since we already went and unlocked that like a little bit of a while ago. But I think that literally about does it here. Uh, we already went and kind of taken care of some of the second pay stars that were going on uh, within our time in both of these two sections. Uh, now, I think for the next episode, I 
I will try and go and search for something else that we need to go and do with the actual main story. So I'll see you guys for when that actually does happen. And of course, uh, stay tuned uh, for the next other two episodes that are going to happen. Because again, we do have another battle revolution that's going to be going on. And I believe we also do have the finale of Luigi's Mansion as well too for the 3DS. So that's going to be pretty exciting. So hope you guys do go and check out the Luigi's Mansion finale. And uh, with all that being said, I uh, hope you guys uh, have yourself a, a great day. And, uh, and of course, uh, peace.